All right, boys and girls. Oh my goodness. I am just as happy as a hyena to see you again today. We are going to go back to our series uh, where we're using the uh, PBS show, The Wild Crafts, as an idea to launch some happy art. I sure hope you've had a chance to uh, enjoy some of our other pictures. I've seen some wonderful art that you're doing. I hope you'll continue to share that with me. And I'll tell you what, I am just so excited to get started. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at our next project. The Draco Lizard. Wow, isn't that something? But just before we do that, I want to share a couple pictures that were sent in to me. This, oh my goodness, this is from, I believe it was episode two. It is a lovely squid. Look at that. That is done by Silas. What an incredible job. And his little brother, he gave it a shot too. Look at that. This is Eli. He had a good time drawing along. Look at those fun little lines. Boys and girls, I'll tell you, I just love it when we do our best and nothing less, and we have a happy time making art. Uh, and it just gives me the biggest joy to see your artwork, and I am looking forward to, to more of those. So I want to show you what I use today for this paper because uh, if you haven't had a chance to get out much you might start running low on paper so look what i used oh my goodness it's a good thing i don't throw much of anything away look at this it is a calendar page isn't that something boys and girls but right underneath we can make our own happy little masterpiece and this is a uh, picture is from episode four, I believe. I'm starting to get them a little confused. This is the Draco, and I know I'm not going to shock you here when I say we're going to start with the Draco's eye. Now, this is no ordinary lizard. This guy likes to glide around in the rainforest. Isn't that something? So I'm going to start with a circle right here. Now, if that's the middle of my paper, you can see I just scoot it up and over a little bit. And I'm going to give it just this happy little tiny new moon of an eye. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Hey, and if you could glide around, I would say you would be one happy Lizard. So look at this. Right down from the eyeball, I'm going to make a happy smile. Look at that. I've got an eye here and a happy little smile here. Now it's time to go on a little trip. Look at this. We're going to go up to make his little lizard nose. And we're going to go up and over the eye. Look at that. That was a happy line right there. Up and over. And we're going to give him a little Draco chin right there. And look at that. He's got so much going on. He's even got this little flappy line here on his chin. I think he uses about everything to sail around in the rainforest. All right. So look at this. We're going to give him an arm over here. And look, we can see another one over here. I think he's going to be gripping onto a tree here in just a minute. But boys and girls, first, let's make his happy little Draco fingers. Look at this. There's little webs in between. That helps him sail it through the air. Oh, my goodness. The more I find about nature, the more I am amazed at how everything is designed just so perfect. Wow, look at this. This guy's ribs actually come out to help him sail. Wow, wouldn't that be something? I can just imagine. Wow. All right, so I am going to draw a little rainbow line here. It looks 
like we're gonna have one skinny little Draco, but his wings are puffed out right now. So look at this. All right. And oh, you know what? I stopped this slide right here because I had almost forgotten to draw his back leg. You know, I would almost tell you that I just made a mistake, but of course we know we can't really make mistakes in art. Sometimes we make some happy accidents, but that's okay. See, by putting that leg in there, I stopped this line. Now, I had a kind of a shortcut because I drew a very light line on here that helps me talk and draw at the same time. You'll probably find that when you're nice and quiet, your drawing might be a little easier. So if I were you, I would draw this part first, then the leg, and then his little sail here made out of his ribs. Oh my goodness. Can you believe that? All right, now look at this. We're gonna make a nice, fun, curvy line. Oh, this is a happy line. He is having a good time. Look at that, right off the page. Now, I'm gonna leave that line alone for a minute because we are gonna go for a fun ride here. We're gonna come back where we left off on the back of old Draco's neck. And watch this, boys and girls. This is quite a happy line. Woo! Look at that. We're going back behind his leg and we're going to start getting skinnier and skinnier because this turns into his happy little tail. Oh my, isn't that something? Look at that. Wow. I think I'm going to draw his back leg back here. That's just a couple little happy lines. Oh, and you know what? I almost forgot the little webs in his fingers to help him glide. And we can see just a little bit of that other sail back here. Wow, I think he just landed on this happy little Y branch. Look at this. So we're gonna bend, we bent this line up. We're gonna bend this one down. And then look right in the middle. We're gonna make a happy little V. Oh my goodness. It is a Y tree branch, my favorite. Well, shoot, that was so much fun. I'm gonna do it up here as well. Look at that. Oh boy, and that V in the middle. I've got myself a tree branch. I'm gonna put some happy little tree bark on there. That'll help that Draco lizard grab on to that bark. There you go, and maybe even, how about, and you can do whatever you like. This is your space, your picture. You just have a good time. I'm just giving you some ideas. We can put some happy little leaves up here. You might even want to put a rainforest insect or two in there. I don't know. Some vines. You just have a blast. Well, boys and girls, I'm going to leave that right there. You can put some happy little color on there. Goodness, you could uh, paint it. You can color it. You can leave it just like that. You just have a good old time. And why don't you share this picture with someone in your family? You could even teach them how to draw it. Wouldn't that be fun? Boys and girls, I have had the best time with you. I'm so happy you joined me to make this happy Draco lizard. And I want to encourage you to find a little bit of happy art every day somewhere in your life and share it with somebody you care for. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.